Hello, I'm Dave the Sign Guy and it's time for another quick uh, video on my van build. So, hey, let's go take a look. So we're walking up to the van here and you can see the gray cabinets and some of the flooring. Over here to the left, we've got the control panel. The first three will be auxiliary. The second three are lights inside and out. USB, water level, also the charger monitor. Another set of cabinets and the TV mount. And we've got the stuff that's over the bed, USB fan, reading lights. and the other cabinet. And from here, we're panning up from the laminate floor to the aluminum ceiling, and the walls are aluminum as well, uh, to the Milky Way print I did for over the bed, up to the Max fan. Coming into the van on the right, you're going to see my electrical system. Starting at the bottom of the electrical system, you're going to see the battery cutoff, 12 volt battery fuse box, and it'll move up to the battery fuse, 110 breaker box, electrical switch, pure sine wave 3000 watt inverter, solar charger, as well as a battery charger. Over the bed, we got fans, USB chargers, bed lights, and in the center there is a switch to turn off the lights directly over the bed. So this just shows you the transition from the original van floor uh, to the laminate floor that I put in, as well as a, just kind of a look around back up at the cabinets and the ceiling, just to give you another perspective of what it looks like from the back of the van but I really like this laminate flooring from Home Depot. This gives you a look at the cup holders over the bed to the left and to the right. And just another glance at the, the fans and the lights and the switch for the cent, uh, upper lights. And the USB, it is a double USB so that way you can have a phone charging as well. And again, a cup holder, a his and hers. This gives you a look at the cabinets and the TV mount. Each cabinet has a double strut to hold the uh, cabinet door open. And of course the push button lock style knobs. And the TV mount just simply pushes out of the way and latches in real tight. And one more door. Woohoo! And lastly, I thought I would show you this suction cup mounted phone and tablet holder. Awesome gonna make reading and watching videos at night great. I ended up liking that mount that suction cups to the ceiling so much that I ended up buying two more. What's great about them is they're actually made of aluminum so they're strong and this one's a little bigger this will hold the iPad Pro which is what I have along with a bigger phone but this will clamp on the lip edges of the bed and it's a little bit longer because what I intend to do is I'll have rails that come up about three inches on each side of the bed. That's to hold the blankets and the mattress in and everything. So I think that'll be nice, clamped right on the bed. You know, you can turn it to, to I think you can turn it. Yeah, you can turn it and spin it however you like to give you the right angle to, to be able to face it towards you while you're in bed, which will put it, you know, on each side of you down lower, which I think is a little bit nicer than maybe looking up at the ceiling and trying to reach up. I don't know. I like them a lot and I think that uh, they'll work nicely in the van. So 
I'll let you know in the future once they're mounted to the bed. But I don't, uh, nobody sponsors me on anything and Amazon naturally doesn't sponsor me. I just don't spend enough, yet I do spend a lot. So yeah, great mount. Oh, what's it called? Oh, Everywhere Focus. Keep that in mind if you're looking for one. Everywhere Focus, great mount. I mean, hell, be great mount even on your desk. You know, can't beat it, because it can spin around in all kinds of fun directions. Yeah, an awesome mount, an awesome mount for a desk or, or whatever. Yeah. All right, that's the end of this video. I think I've talked enough. I like the shorter videos, so I try to make shorter videos. And why am I looking to that side? Because the camera is over here. Anyway, have a good day. I'll talk to you later.